Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your thoughts and your opinions about the video. Make sure to subscribe with post notifications on so you stay notified on every single video. Also, follow my social media so you stay tuned for updates for incoming videos. Thank you. Dylan here and welcome back to another reaction so we'll be reacting to hobbies by the odd ones out so this came out just recently ago around like a few hours ago and comment down below what are your hobbies or what are your guys favorite hobbies are and if you guys want a shout out then if you want you can make a video on congratulating me for 1,000 subscribers and then there's going to be a 100% chance that you guys will be featured. So, yeah, I'm also going to make a video on that. If you want, you can make a video of me, of you congratulating me for 1,000 subscribers and then I'm going to put all of your channels and and stuff in the description below. If you guys want a shout out. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Anyway make sure you guys drop a like. If you guys did enjoy. Comment down below. Your th what are your thoughts and your opinions about the video. And subscribe to the channel. As we're on the road of hitting that. 2,000 subscriber range. I almost said 1,000. But I. I almost said it. But I caught myself there. So. Now we're on the road to 1,100 subscribers, and thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers once again. And as I said, if you want, you guys can make a video on your channel if you guys want a shout out, or if you guys want a shout out, and and this is your chance. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and turn on post notifications so you stay notified. On every single video, so without any further ado, let's begin. Parents want their children to be well-rounded, but the problem that every parent faces is that seven-year-olds would rather watch any video on YouTube than learn how to play the violin. Those so Fortnite dances, man. Parents get their children to be more active. Answer: They force them. Now, forcing mm -hmm. kids into activities. Exactly, my parents does the same exact thing. Helpful. Forcing kids into doing oh something they goodness. don't want to do is the only way we can get them to go to school. Okay, saying mm. that out loud, kind of. Kind of sounded wrong. Doing extra activities, especially at a young age, not only teaches you important skills, but it also teaches you what your interests are. How are you going to know if you don't like ballet unless you try it? I've tried yep. it, and now I can say with confidence, ballet is not for me. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had to deal with parents signing you up for sports, instruments, and more sports. I think when you're really young, you don't realize that you have a choice. Your parents just start taking you to soccer well, I'm, every Wednesday, and you think, I'm doing oh, baseball okay, and football. But all the activities I was forced into, while well, I never got invested in any of them, my mom wants so me to do karate, but I don't want to. I forgot how old I was when my mom signed me up for soccer. Hopefully, I will learn something in this video. Like this, I can't tell you how many games you won or how many goals I scored. It was probably close to zero because I ultimately didn't care about soccer. The only thing I cared about was getting a treat after every game because mm. I earned it. I know some kids who really enjoyed playing soccer. I oh the my! Video I mentioned this, but back <laughs> in the day, there was this kid I knew named Micah. He used to live in the house directly behind mm. mine, and we were on the same oh, wow. soccer team. He was really good That's at cool. soccer. That's cool. Probably better than all. So other you guys teams. could practice soccer. Well, okay. With each other. It's been four years since I last talked to him, but he was still oh, wow. playing soccer to this four years ago. Now, did Micah's That's a little bit like odd because soccer? he, you Probably live like right was. behind him, or right in front. It, he would have never known how good he was at the game and how much he enjoyed it. But that's enough about Micah. This is he's like invincible. I don't it's that I stopped playing soccer? I just stopped mm. showing up to the practices one year. And then I never played again. And then my mom oh, wow. Boy Scouts, and that was a lot better because Boy it was Scouts. competitive and camping is awesome. And I made some dumb videos about it. <laughs> so it was a return investment. Another activity my mom put me in was this martial art class called Aikido. I'm honestly Aki surprised. Is that like, like that some type of like karate class once, or something? Probably because it was boring and nothing interesting happened. My mom put me and my twin sister into Aikido, and we both agreed that it was boring and we didn't like it. So mm. we decided not to remind my mom whenever she had to take us to class. And surprisingly, she forgot most of the time. 
Okay, oh, look, wow. The sensei was talking, we had to sit on our knees, and that gets uncomfortable after two seconds. What is yeah. Aikido, I hear you asking? Mm. Aikido is a special form of martial arts in that it doesn't teach you how to fight. Aikido is all oh. about self-defense and to also not hurt the attacker. You know those self-defense techniques that are like, if someone tries to attack you, use your keys as a knife and stab them. Aikido is not that. An Aikido master will take <laughs> an attacker's arm, spin them around, and then pin them down to the floor. Now that sounds really cool on Oh, game. wow. Like if someone goes to attack you, and then you block their punch and pin them to the ground, and you just give them a look like, you wanna take me on, kid? I've already <laughs> got you pinned down. Now I'm not gonna <laughs> hurt you, because I'm that powerful. But if you ever attempt to attack me or my clan ever again, I will be forced to use 10% of my power and break your spine in half. And I think Ooh. my mom saw that Akito was non-violent and taught self-defense, and she thought it was a better activity than learning how to kick someone in the face. But after doing <laughs> some research on Akito, I've learned that it's not really... What's the right word? respected in the martial art community there's a lot mm. of people saying that the techniques of aikido don't work against a real attack and that if someone's really attacking you you can't reasonably pin them down oh. without hurting them so it's probably a better idea to just punch back and some people who are in aikido think that their style of fighting is more civil Man. more eloquent way of fighting or non-fighting so there's a tad bit of elitism in the martial art community now surprisingly mm. i've never been in a real fight so i can't really comment on what the more effective martial art is i'm sure different situations call for different responses but i don't think i'm wrong when i say that aikido is the vegans of martial arts after mm. Aikido, the next thing I was forced to learn was an instrument. My parents didn't force me to do this. No, it was the American education system that did. Oh, man. In sixth grade, everyone had to take a band class, and we all chose different instruments to play, and I went with the flute. And as soon as I was given the flute, I traded it with Priscilla, who chose percussion, and that's what I did for the next two years. Compared to the rest mm. of the instruments, percussion was very easy on my lungs. And it was okay if we were bad at the instrument because we were in the very back. The first set of songs we learned mm. was on this metal xylophone thing, but I think the teacher oh, wow. everyone was so bad at that instrument that the rest of the songs we learned was on this drum. Just one drum, it looked like this. So while everyone else had to learn face and every good boy deserves fudge and whatever these lines connecting the notes mean, we cool kids in the back only had to memorize three notes. A hit on the drum, a hit on the side of the drum, and not hitting the drum. Now those are my favorite notes. <laughs> drums are so great, nothing beats the drums. <laughs> drums are easy. So my parents tried to get me to do yeah, when you play that part. But I never did more than what I was told. To if you play the drums okay. with rock so music, that's going to be and if difficult. It's not something you enjoy? Well, at least you tried. Now with all the activities I did, I still spent plenty of my free time doing some other things. Okay, I played a lot of Neopets <laughs> and RuneScape, and as much as I enjoyed these games, I would say overall, they didn't make me a more rounded person. Unless you count what they did to my horrible posture. People will spend their free time doing what they enjoy. And entertainment is designed to be entertaining. And while it's good to yeah. take some time doing things you enjoy, just like everything in life, it's all about balance. I think there's a very clear and important difference between a hobby and an addiction. If you enjoy playing video games and binging Netflix in your free time, then do that. Yeah. Keyword being free time. You still need to set time to sleep, work, and socialize. And take showers. To talk if I can to smell that you were just binging a show, then that's got to change. While I was working on this video, I wondered why it was more acceptable to be good at chess than it was World of Warcraft. Because at its core, chess and Warcraft are the same thing. A game. But if you spend mm. all your time playing one of these games, and it gets in the way of you being a functional human being, that's when it becomes an addiction. And I would mm. bet you one crisp dollar bill that more people have gotten addicted to Warcraft than chess. And that's why I believe there's a bad stigma with that game. Also, I don't know how WoW works, but I know in chess you need to have at least one friend. If I could go back in time, I would tell my younger self to not play Neopets and RuneScape as much as I did. I would have told me, hey, you should try out other things too, like rollerblading or the flute. Youth is the best time to learn what you love and where your passions lie. You kids have no bills, no expectations. I wish I could You're do not that. tired all the time, and everyone's telling you to follow your dreams. But not me. I'm 22. My life is practically over. I can't choose any more hobbies. I, I wasted my childhood. <laughs> I'm not saying <clears throat> don't play video games or don't watch YouTube. I understand that my main demographic is people who watch YouTube. But like I said before, it's all about the balance. Trademark. 
So go out there, try new things, join a club, go on a walk, draw something. I'm biased, but make a comic, write a short story, find a recipe online and cook something, or read a book. Take breaks, yes, but never stop learning. And when you're an adult, you can force your children to learn, too. Happy 2019, yeah. everyone. How are you all doing on your New Year's resolutions? Are you, are you still keeping track of those? Surprisingly, a lot has happened for me in 2019 already. And the really big mm. thing is that I got a new dog. Her name is Floof, and she's the best. Aww. And I hate to break this to anyone who owns a dog, but Floof is actually the best dog in the world, so... Sorry guys. Uh, that's oh, nice. Also, this channel hit 10 million subscribers. I wonder what kind of dog is that? A chihuahua? I don't think Thank so. Thank you all for watching my videos, and it's just. I'm not sure what dog it is. Out there watching my videos. Kind of is. They're just videos, guys. Calm down. <laughs> Also, big thanks to all my lovely additional artists. I wouldn't be able to make these videos as fast and as high quality as they are without them, so thank you all for working on this video, and cheers to 10 million. I guess the next video I'll be working oh, on... Oh, by the way, congratulations for 10 now, million. I first started the spring tradition, by the way, man. Oh, it's just a fun little thing to do every once in a while. And now I'm buying a lot of sprinkles, so... Woe is me. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap now, and as always, wear your seatbelt. All right, so this this actually mo well not to be honest. I thought it was gonna motivate me, but to be honest, it didn't. But it was still good anyway. And cr congratulations for ten million to the odd ones out, and. Hopefully you will get to 11 million real soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and to and turn on post notifications so you guys will stay notified on every single video. So I will see you guys in the next video. But if you guys want a shout out from me, remember I may make a video on it. Well, by the time when I with this is going to be uploaded. I may have this video, that video will get uploaded. So, you guys can make a video on your channel. If you guys do want to shout out from me, then make a video. Then if you want, you can make a video. You guys congratulating me for me getting 1,000 subscribers. And then I will put it in the 1,000 subscribers special video. That will come out probably later this week, Wednesday or Friday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. And, and thank you again for 1,000 subscribers. I hope we will get to 10,000, hopefully. I hope. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.